Okay, people. Uh, I've been requested to make a macro tutorial for Logitech Gaming Software. Uh, first things first, get Logitech Gaming Software. It should be on the official Logitech site. Uh, if you have... It, it's easy to find. Just Google it, go to the link on the official Logitech site, download it, install it. It should work with Windows 7, 8, and 10. Uh, yep. And once you've got it downloaded, then what you want to do is open it up. You'll be on this screen, I think, unless you have a different Logitech product, in which case, switch to the mouse. Whatever mouse you might have. You sh certain Logitech mouses won't be able to do this uh, because they just will be not good enough or they didn't have the feature, but most will. Okay, you'll start on this screen. Uh, make sure it's toggled to this side because if it's on the mouse on board, uh, you can't make macros on most mouse mice. Um, so make sure it's on that and then click on this icon. So once you're here, uh, you'll either want to just, well, when you create profiles it has to be for a certain game and most of the time they don't work. They don't trigger when you open the game. So what I just would say to do is kind of, you're just going to have to do it on the fly whenever you feel like using the rapid fire hotkey, you're going to actually manually have to change. Uh, you're going to have to put left click on a different key or else it doesn't let you change the left click button. Uh, or you can use a side button, but I find that extremely uncomfortable. Uh, and it makes me miss a lot, like you might have seen in my video. Anyway, uh, so once you want to create the thing, I have already, in this case, made it, but we'll create it on this one just to show you. Okay, multi key, right click on this, and you'll see insert mouse event. Left button, click. Now, what I like to do is just insert a delay here, meaning right click there, and just make it. Uh, you know, five milliseconds, because I don't know. It, it seems to be more stable if you have a slight delay. Um, now, <sighs> repeat options. This is how you get it to you know really fast loop. So what I like to do is while press, but you can have it toggle so you click and it'll just do it until you click again, or you can do while press, which is what I do. And I like a 10 millisecond delay because that's really fast, um, but it seems to work with Black Ops at least. Some games you're going to have to slow it down because they, they like, I don't know, I don't know if they de detect that it's a macro and it just screws up a lot. Um, so yeah, and then you have to name it. I'm just going to name it that, lol. Um, create it, and we're good to go. Now, this one has a different delay, so we'll try them both once I get in game. Okay, be right back. Okay, so now we're in game. It's going to lag, I will warn you now. Okay, oh, it's not that bad actually, but it was really lagging earlier, so I actually had to reshoot this. Um, okay, so now we're in, let's try. This is the one we created, and this is the one I created earlier. Ah, they're exactly, they're exactly the same. Uh, ah, I accidentally set that one to toggle. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm not even pressing anything. And it'll just, it'll shoot even between reloads, like, like that. <laughs> but yeah, it works quite well. Um, experiment, maybe leave a comment on what you do, uh, if it helps or anything. Uh, and yeah, thank you.